What's up guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Today we're going to pick up where we left off last time. We've got two computers that we didn't know how to fix. I got a comment on one, so we're going to try to fix that. It's this one here, regarding the processor that we need to upgrade. Um, so they've recommended checking out an equivalent AMD processor, or better. Um, the only issue is I don't have the... Uh, actual processor that it recommends for the high um, or for the recommended settings. I don't have the 7600 unlocked so I don't think I can check the um, part ranking of it yet. Because the only thing that we have on there last is the 6700 so we're just gonna go ahead and try to throw this um, Ryzen 7 1800X in it and see if that fixes it. Uh, also off screen I took a look at Bruce's computer which we had issues with last time for some reason I just was fixated on it being the power supply that was the issue but I took it all apart and it was the motherboard that is broken so go ahead and um, just need to add the Ryzen chip to the cart he didn't have a budget so and I believe that we should be able to go ahead and order all this. And these should be the rest of the parts we need for the orders that we have. So go ahead and pick them up here. Start with this one just because it's the biggest pain. So throw the 1800 in there. Close that down. Throw the thermal paste on. Put the back on. I think we just had that one on there. Okay, pull it up. Make sure that power's on. Alright, let me do get the recommended specs. So, again, I was just fixated on not having the, um, the Intel chip unlocked to see where that benchmarked, and I didn't even think about just throwing the biggest AMD chip in there that we have, so be able to call that one done. So we'll minimize those. Go ahead and open our email. Be able to tell them that they're just ready. So we did get the four thousand dollars from them, which is nice. So we're sitting at almost eight thousand dollars now. Five star review on Bongle. So let's go ahead and take care of Bruce here. Go ahead and put this motherboard back in. This is the same motherboard that I took out, just replacing the broken one essentially, so. I wish it would let you use the same standoffs, but it is what it is, right? And open up everything we need there, so start with the processor, close that down, the thermal paste on there. I think if we go to PC parts, it'll actually just have everything that's his, which is nice. Cable everything up at once. Alright, so put the motherboard power, graphics card power, hard drive power, the hard drive to the motherboard, the cooler to the motherboard, the CPU power, and the front fan controls. Let's power it up. The PSU shroud back on. And put the side panel back on. So there we go. Power it off. Throw it over here. And another computer out the door, just like that. So go ahead, click that. Five stars on Bongle, two hundred fifty dollars. Looking good. Discard his email. All right, so. Look at this. Try to remember what we ordered for this. They obviously wanted a 16 gig or, or 16 gigs of RAM. They put G skill in there.
Okay, so I don't remember what exactly I ordered for this. I wish there was a way that you could. Um, did I not order RAM for it? So we need to get them. 16 gigs of RAM. I don't know why. I thought I ordered um, RAM. So their budget's $600. So it's $140. So we've got not enough for that. Could get the TI though. Let's go ahead and just wait on that before we order in case we miss anything else. So I think these are Douglas and Fix. Yeah. Okay, so power it up. So it's powering up. We need to run 3D Merc. So let's go ahead and install that. I don't see what the issue is yet. It seems to be working. Restart that. Let's throw this computer right here for right now. Place the graphics card and the motherboard on this one, and so dusting it off, dusting it out rather. Let's do the dusting. Get that out of the way. Cables here. Gonna take the PCI lock off. Take the motherboard out, or the graphics card out. Take all this stuff out here. Plug all the cables. And then we can take the motherboard out. I think this is another one where we're putting the exact same one back in, so I wish it would let you keep the standoffs, but it's not that big a deal, I guess. So we did make it to level 8 with that last computer, which is nice. So we could buy the cabinet to our left. I don't know what the point of that cabinet is right now, but I'm sure it's got some kind of point in the future of the game. Back up. Let's go back to the PC parts. Throw all his stuff in. Make sure we put the thermal paste on. And put the cooler on. That, that's not what I wanted to do. Cooking too fast. Put his RAM back in. 
I can put his new graphics card in. So I believe we were just replacing this one. So now cable everything up. Let's go check and see if he wants any thing specific. They need a virus scan as well. No, nothing as far as colored cables, so we're gonna get whatever we had last. Just black it looks like. SATA power, motherboard power, cooler, fans, and CPU power. Okay, it's powered up. Go ahead and install the PCI lock back here. And install the side pan. Looking good. Power down. Get throw it out in the hallway. Get another replace power supply. So let's go ahead and let Leonard know that his computer's ready. I thought I'd definitely put thermal paste on there. I definitely did not because I took the process or the. Oh, whoops. Okay. Whatever. Didn't even think about that. I took the fan right back off. So. Alright. So let's see. White plastic cables. Easy enough. I didn't do a virus scan on that computer either. Got too excited that it was done. So, it is what it is, I guess. Go ahead and get this PSU bracket off. We will unplug all the cables. Maybe. Didn't need to unplug that one or that. Just unplug in what I can get to. Let's switch it around, around the back. It's hard to see the cables. Actually, it might just be that. Yep, okay. So install. Power supplies. So they had a Corsair. Or no, they had the Silverstone, didn't they? Need to get rid of the uh, unused stuff. Alright, so white. Into the sleeved, just because I think they look nicer. Well, it's in real life. Don't really affect anything in this game, it seems. But, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, this fan, and the motherboard power, got it on. It's booted. Let's go ahead and put the PSU mount back on. Install the side panel. And I guess in theory what I should have been doing this entire time is running the benchmark on the computer. That's all our other workbench. Alright, so it's running. Put this one up for delivery. Alright, five stars looking good. Let's discard that. Alright, so let's go ahead. Actually, we might need to run stuff for this. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be taking this computer apart to see what is causing the issue. So, let's go ahead and start with the 
processor and the motherboard or the RAM real quick. So install PC parts. So it's neither of those. It's not the graphics card. So we're looking at another motherboard issue. It's not the motherboard, then I think it has to be the uh, the hard drive. Because the power supply wouldn't give you that kind of an error, I wouldn't think. Okay. Let's check the hard drive. Oh. Pull that out. Install. Okay, so doesn't seem like it's any of those. I guess we can check the power supply, but let's see. I don't think it would be the power supply, given that kind of an error, but we'll see. Was it really the power supply? No. Hmm. Is it not powerful enough, I bet? So that's a 400. I already have a 450 that I could try. Let's get rid of these broken ones. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any. Let's see. This is telling me what parts are still on. Okay. So I'm thinking that it has to be. Oh, I wonder if it didn't have thermal paste. Okay, let's see. I guarantee that's what it was. Oops, let's put everything back. Interesting that the power supply is coming there, there. I'm wondering if it's because it's not powerful enough to, though. The CPU at close that. Let's go and throw our thermal paste. Not make that mistake twice. Again, put this Grax card back in there. Just cable everything up. Okay, so the thermal paste was the issue because it gave us the check mark. So looking good. Head and sleeve everything back up. I think it's everything. Oh, we did not, but is. I almost forgot the hard drive. All right, now we can power back on. Close 
this set up. Install. Let's put the PSU shroud. Click on there. Alright, now let's run the 3D benchmark. As we install the side panel back, looking good. Alright, so that, let's just go ahead and order. That's <laughs> good, okay. So they didn't need anything else on there, which is good. So let's see. I'm gonna take out this. I think I'm gonna install. I don't know why I didn't just build off of that. We bought him new RAM altogether. PCI. Lock here, plug that. And screw it. Install graphics cards. Give it the 980 Ti. Should be a decent upgrade for him. Cable, let's see. No, no cables. So, getting. Um, I mean, the graphics card doesn't matter, I guess. Powered up. Alright, so that benchmark is done. We'll power that computer down. We can throw it over here in the waiting area. Let's go ahead and install our thumb drive here. Then collect on that one, $150, looking good. So we ranked up, we get 3200 megahertz of RAM, bunch of other stuff, looking good. Alright, let's discard those. Restart this computer. Put the PCI lock back on. And then we'll go ahead and get the benchmark going. And while that's running, we'll go ahead and look at orders for tomorrow. So discard that. Alright. So we need to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. He gets a benchmark score of 36.25. So let's go shop, memory, G skill. Okay. Hyphened. Just like for sale. G dot skill. Okay. So they have Rip Charles 4 at 3200 MHz. So add that to cart. Alright. Graphics card. Let's see if we've got any. Nope. The 980 Ti is still our best. Add to cart. So that is. Below seven hundred dollars. Okay, good there. It's accept. Replace CPU and replace the RAM. So, so i5 6400. And the cart. And the RAM is Team Group T Force Dark twenty four. Uh, 
Um, okay, so they want a benchmark score of 2257, but their current benchmark is 2283. So we're just going to go ahead and accept that. And we'll wait and see tomorrow if it needs any work done to it. So 5,000 at 22, and they were only looking for 2319. So did good, did good on that one. All right, so let's go ahead and throw it out here in the delivery area. And I'll spot the company. So, all right, it's four stars, looking good. Um, we probably could have ran a virus scan on there, but not too worried about it. Four stars on Bongle and $809 looking good. So that's our we'll, uh, actually, okay. Looks like a new um, hard drive or SSD, one of the two. So go ahead and end it off there though. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.